big, big game for Tennessee on Saturday. Tomorrow night, under the lights in beautiful Neyland Stadium and even more beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee, the Vols taking on them gosh darn Florida Gators. Cannot wait to talk about it. The Vol View begins right now. Is it ever a revenge spot for the Tennessee Vols as they come back home to Neyland Stadium for the first time in basically a month to take on the Florida Gators? I did want to say this in the outset, and I mean this, honest to God, I mean this genuinely. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very hard on Florida fans. Like I am on Yankees fans, Alabama fans, Cleveland fans, all, all of the above. Um, with that said, I will not be as hard on today because Florida has went through absolute hell uh, this week and really the last couple of weeks with the back-to-back -back hurricanes. So my thoughts and prayers, I, I mean this genuinely, thoughts and prayers to everybody in that state that has dealt with the, the devastation of this recent storm. Uh, we're thinking of you. We're praying for you. Uh, if there's any anybody out there, we did a fundraiser for the show uh, or during the show um, after the hurricane came through this area in the southeast, uh, close to where I live. Did a fundraiser for that. Again, I implore you. World Central Kitchen, Convoy of Hope, American Red Cross. These are all three fantastic organizations. Please donate to them uh, to help all the victims of this hurricane because they need as much help as they can get. So I, I just I, I did want to say that in the out front. Uh, I, I love my Vols. Gators fans may get on my nerves, but listen, there's a lot of Florida Gators fans that are really going through it right now. So thoughts and prayers with everybody out there. Now for this game, so Tennessee comes in after a – Devastating loss to the Arkansas Razorbacks on the road, 1914. I said at the very least, come in the game, and I uh, let's just say I've gotten trolled a little bit, rightfully so, I might add, for saying, hey, Tennessee's got a path after they beat Alabama to beat Arkansas, Florida, then beat Alabama home to maybe be the number one team in the country. Even if we beat Florida, Alabama, we're not going to be number one. We'll be good in position, but not, not the best team in the country. But with that said, Tennessee favored in this game. Minus 14 and a half. The line actually opened a week ago prior to Tennessee, Arkansas at Tennessee minus 20. SEC matchup, a team's favored by 20 points. And what's been a rivalry that has been absolutely and completely dominated by the Florida Gators from 2005 to 2023. We have won. We as in the Tennessee Volunteers have won twice. But the good news is both of those have been at home. This game's at home. Graham Mertz is Florida's starting quarterback. He's been benched, put back in. I mean, it, it has been a revolving, or I shouldn't say revolving door, but a, 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 a seesaw back and forth of starting quarterbacks for Florida. Uh, Billy Napier is not a good head coach. He's going to lose his job at the end of the year. I've never, I can never remember a time in my life where coming into a season, and Florida's been about what we thought they'd be this year, uh, where a, a Florida team is picked universally. Oh, yeah, they're like bottom four in the SEC. Like they're going to finish, you know, like in 12th. I mean, they're, Never thought I'd see the day. I can't say I'm mad about it, but never thought I'd see the day. So Tennessee's in a spot where after that game against Arkansas, my main takeaway was let Nico loose. Let Nico loose. Their starting quarterback. Brew McCoy got hurt. Looks like he's going to be back. You still got the running game with Dylan Sampson. You still got an elite offensive line. You just got a defense that's led by, by James Pierce, by uh, Jeremy McCoy, the, the corner, who I think is going to have a big-time game on, on Saturday. And if nothing else for Tennessee, you fall down to eighth, and there are there are Vols fans. I've talked to some, some fellow Vols fans that are a little bit nervous, a little bit panicky, like, gosh, is our college football playoff hopes in jeopardy? Are we, are we in trouble? Tennessee hears all the noise. The good news is for Tennessee, again, they didn't even have the worst loss in the SEC. That was Alabama against Vanderbilt. They have they lost the game they shouldn't have. At the very least, it felt like for Tennessee this year, we can go 10-2. and two. 
We can maybe split with an Alabama-Georgia, and we are basically guaranteed a spot in the 12-team college football playoff. Well, the game they shouldn't have lost, that's out of the way now. Like, that, that they, they've already blown that, uh, and, and we're, you know, we're, we haven't even got to November yet. I think Tennessee, especially with that home crowd, Tennessee, Florida, the energy and the atmosphere that that brings is going to play with their effing hair on fire. So Tennessee against Florida will win this game decisively. 45-17 over the Gators. Listen again. Uh, Florida got the win over UCF. UCF might be not be quite as good as we thought because Colorado smoked them. Uh, Florida got the W against them. Uh, listen, Florida may feel good about themselves. That's okay. They won last weekend and we didn't. Tennessee is going to come into Neyland Stadium and absolutely drop the effing hammer on the Gators offensively. Iyama Liaba will throw for 400, uh, sorry, 400 yards. We'll throw for 300 yards and four touchdowns. Dylan Sampson will do his thing in the run game. I'm going to say Scroll White catches two of those touchdowns, one of them being a deep ball. Could be, could be Thornton. Could be, could be Brazel. Could be any of those guys. Tennessee has loaded at the wide receiver position. But what I want to see more than anything from Josh Heupel, my man. I, lo- I love me some Josh Heupel. The man has saved the program along with Danny White, uh, obviously the athletic director. The the play calling, uh, you know, and again, that's it feels like that's the, I saw a tweet from a Tennessee fan saying like, that's always like the redneck excuse to go to is play calling. And I do agree with that in a, like 95% of the time. In this instance, I do kind of agree it was the play calling because I feel like it's, it feels as if Josh Heupel's still calling games like Joe, Joe Milton's the quarterback. And respect Joe Milton, obviously, with the Patriots now. Cannon arm, great, great kid. Not, love everything about him uh, in terms of his intangibles. But he didn't see the field that uh, very well. He wasn't very good in the pocket. Uh, he overshot, again, he had the monster arm. He overshot a lot of his receivers. Didn't make necessarily the best decisions all the time. And so Josh Heupel, who really opened it up with Hinton Hooker in 2022, kind of shortened the playbook, you know, s- simplified it. I don't want to see that with Nico. Nico's got the ability. We saw the play uh, where we hit uh, Thornton with the long ball to get them in position to where they could have won the game with a touchdown. Nico making plays, rolling out of the pocket. Let Nico loose. Let Nico cook. And I think that's what the Tennessee Volunteers are going to do. So once again, against Florida, Tennessee covers easily 45-17 over those gosh darn Florida Gators. You, you, can, you can chop all you want. Have at it. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be an absolute just smoke fest for Tennessee. Under the lights. At home. That, it's going to be checkered kneeling. Uh, orange and white checkers across the stadium. That place, I'm telling you, I'm going to be at Tennessee, Alabama next week. It's going to be out. That place at, at night is going to be a freaking, I, I cannot even emphasize. I've been there for night games, for Tennessee, Florida night games. That place gets insane for Tennessee, Florida. So, a little bit shorter edition of all of you, but I think it's pretty simple. Let Nico cook. The defense was great last week. Ben, but don't break. Let James Pierce lose. Let him get to the to Graham Mertz consistently. Tennessee will smoke Florida by a final score of 45 to 17. And that is it for this week's edition of The Ball View. Thanks so much for watching the show on YouTube. And be sure to go click that big red subscribe button and check out the other clips and full shows from Carving It Up Live as well as our other incredible content creators here on the Grid Network.